Welcome back friends to the class number 45. In the previous video, we have discussed the concept of improvement of current ratio, hence your MPBF. This video is very unique to me as well. I am making the YouTube video on working capital finance from February 2021. But this video I haven't made till yet. This video is very unique to me and I have also uh, come up with this uh, thing first time in my life. So the working capital gap method that we have discussed two videos ago, I have tried to understand the mathematics of working capital gap method. And I have tried to come up with a simple formula of working capital gap method rather than calculating 75% of working capital gap. I wanted to see whether by using mathematics, can we devise something more simpler out of it, right? So how did I uh, derived a very simple formula with the, with the limited applications, of course. So let us uh, recall the working capital gap formula. What was working capital gap formula of MPBF? The 75% of working capital gap should be your maximum permissible bank finance. This is the maximum loan, maximum working capital limit that you can get. So 75% of working capital gap should be equal to your MPVF maximum permissible bank finance. So I have written maximum permissible bank finance as bank finance. So suppose the bank finance is X. Bank finance is X. So let's write the formula of working capital gap. 75% of total current assets minus total current liabilities excluding bank finance excluding bank finance should be your working capital gap right should be your working capital gap and this 75 percent of this should be your bank finance this is the basic uh, need of a working capital gap if you if the working capital gap need to justify the bank finance this is the equation that it need to justify right so if we open up these parentheses we will find that 75% x divided by 0.75 TCA minus TCL plus x is written here. So what is TCA minus TCL? Total current assets minus total current liabilities is what? It is NWC, networking capital. We have already discussed in previous videos. So we can say NWC is equal to x divided by 0.75 minus x, minus x. If we solve this further, then NWC is one third of x and wc is one third of x and what is x it is bank finance your existing or your proposed one so we can read it as below that working capital gap method working capital gap method method one of tandon committee is nothing uh, the working the eligibility will meet in working capital gap method if your NWC is one third of your bank finance. If your NWC is one third of your bank finance, then your eligibility under method one will meet. Of course, this comes with a lot of limitation. Uh, the main, main, uh, the main pinpoint, uh, the main point of discussion here will be what, how the long, short term portion of long term debt will be treated. I have assumed them as zero in my example. I have assumed X as purely working capital bank finance only. So that is why this result was possible, right? So NWC is one third of X. Then if NWC is one third of X, then your working capital uh, gap method will justify your limits. So this is the simplest way of saying this. So let us test this theory by this example. So let's test this. Suppose this is a balance sheet, fixed assets of rupees 12, short term bank finance, the working capital limit of rupees 10, other current liabilities are rupees 18, fixed assets are 10, uh, current assets are rupees 30, right? So what is NWC in this example? The NWC is total current assets minus total current liabilities, that is rupees 2, right? What is working capital gap? Total current assets minus current liabilities excluding bank finance these 18 doesn't include rupees 10 so 30 minus 80 18 12 rupees is your working capital gap so 75 percent of the working capital gap means 75 rupees 75 percent of rupees 12 is 9 rupees is your mpbf maximum permissible bank finance maximum bank finance that you can get but you have actually taken rupees 10 you were eligible for rupees 9 you have taken rupees 10 already so that means you have excess borrowing already in your company 
so versus actual finance is rupees 10 so your mpbf is not met so let us test our this theory nwc should be one third of x so nwc which is rupees 2 should be one third of x so one third of bank finance what is bank finance in your example it is rupees 20 uh, rupees 10 sorry rupees 10 so one third of rupees 10 is 3.33 so your NWC should be minimum 3.33, but actual NWC is rupees 2. So here we can see that you are you are having shortfall in terms of NWC as well. Your NWC should be 3.33, but your NWC actual is rupees 2. So that means there is shortfall there, which we can clearly see from here as well, right? So let us uh, uh, let us try to understand in second example as well. So suppose your capital is 13.5 short term bank finance is 10 and other current liabilities are 16.5 fixed assets are rupees 10 and current assets are rupees 30 now what is the nwc total current assets minus total current liabilities that is 3.5 right what is working capital gap 30 minus 16.5 that is 13.5 and now 75 percent of the working capital gap 75 percent of the working capital gap comes to around rupees 10.1 that means you are eligible for maximum 10.1 rupees of working capital finance while you have actually taken rupees 10 only that means you are well within the acceptable norms you are well within this eligibility your mpbf norms are met now let's test the other formula that we have derived from uh, in this video so one third of your bank finance should be your minimum nwc so your bank finance is rupees 10 so one third of it becomes 3.33 3.33 and your NWC should be minimum 3.33 but actually it is 3.5 that means your NWC is meeting the minimum requirement norms that means your MPBF should meet as per method number one right so this the in this way we have tested uh, the theory that we have discussed here that NWC should be one third of your bank finance if you want to justify your limit in maximum permissible bank finance method number one right we will come in the next video with method number two understanding. Stay tuned with this channel. Thank you very much.